Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm doing a tutorial on how to install Project Plus and Project M for Dolphin Emulator on Windows. I know there's other ways to do this, but the way I'm doing is the way I did it, and it just makes the most sense. So this video will be split up into two parts, one of them explaining Project Plus and the other explaining Project M. But some of the stuff in the P Plus section also applies to the Project M section, so I recommend watching the video, but there will be certain timestamps for certain steps in both processes. So starting off with the P Plus section, you're going to want to find yourself a copy of Brawl. Now, I usually get my games for emulators off of this site called Vim's Lair, and it's a really good site. They got like a bunch of stuff and a bunch of emulators. I recommend you check it out. But the one thing that Vim's Lair does differently is scrub all their ISOs with this thing called NKit which just makes the ISOs more compact and just cleaner overall. So you're going to want to install this copy of Brawl, but then also, on the same site, you're going to download NKit, specifically the one with the Wii partitions, since Brawl is a Wii game. Now by downloading NKit, this is going to allow us to remove the NKit stuff from the Brawl ISO because the P Plus launcher does not like NKit stuff in it. Once you've downloaded both of those files, you're going to want to find your NKit files. Now, it'll look a little different because I renamed my folder, but once you go in there, you're going to find the NKit processing app. We'll open that up and you'll see all this and I have my ISO on the desktop just for easy access and once we have all this in order you're gonna drag it into the processing app and go over here to settings select the mode to convert to ISO and everything here should be fine it all goes back to your end kit folder and we'll just click process all right now that that's all done and the end kit is removed from our brawl iso the next step is pretty easy so from here, you're going to go back into your NKit, find the processed folder, go into Wii, and that's where your processed ISO will be. The other one is just, don't use that, that's still in NKit format. This one is all scrubbed and clean. From here, we're going to install the actual P Plus launcher. Now we're doing this on Windows, so we're going to do Dolphin for Windows. Once you've downloaded the launcher, you're going to want to find your launcher files, which should look like this when you open it up. Now if we go into the games folder, it should be empty except for a text file that says place your brawl ISO here. Now I already have my game in there. But since this is our new processed ISO, we're going to take that and put that in there. And then it should show up and look like this. And you just right click on the one that looks like Brawl and set that as your default ISO. Once that's all done, you click the Project Plus and everything should load in in a sec. And there you have it. That's how you install Project Plus. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. But 
yeah, I totally recommend Project Plus over Project M, but if you are looking to install Project M, stick around for the second part of this video. Alright, so for all the people who stuck around for the Project M tutorial, Basically, what we're going to do is just repeat the first three steps of the P plus process, which is getting Brawl, doing end kit, and scrubbing Brawl with the end kit to remove all the end kit stuff from it. But then the next step is getting the actual Project Plus files to mod your Brawl ISO. So we're going to go to the Project M site and get the hackless files because homebrew is for like Wii stuff but we're doing the computer today right. so after we've downloaded the hackless files we're gonna download brawl builder which is actually going to build our project M ISO for us and for this next step I recommend just putting your scrubbed brawl ISO just in your documents or anywhere that's easy to find so once we've opened Brawl Builder, it's pretty simple from here. So we'll click Browse to find our Brawl ISO. Put that in the top field, and our mod folder will be in the hackless files. It should look like this. Even though it says Homebrew, it's the hackless files. Now in the Project M folder, there's the PF folder, that will be the mod folder. And finally, in the codes folder, there's our GCT file. Now that's everything pretty much, but there is some optional things. Uh, I usually remove subspace emissary just so the download's quicker. Uh, you can do all this other stuff too, but let's just build Project M. Oh yeah, just save it to anywhere you want. I'm just going to save it to Documents. Alright, so now that the build's completed, again, it's pretty simple from here. It's pretty much the same process at the end here. Uh, we're gonna take our Project M Brawl, and we're gonna put it in the same games folder. Uh, I might have to close out of here. Alright, now it has uh, reset. We're going to do the same thing, setting that as our default ISO. But the different thing is, we're going to click on this file, because if we click on Project Plus, it straight up just won't work. And once it does that, you'll, you'll know Project M works. Just going to get that out of the way again. But that is both how to install Project Plus and Project M. Just to be real, I only included Project M because me and my friend were trying to download Project Plus and that's how we thought we got to Project Plus was through Project M. And I just didn't want our labor to go to waste. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you can get P Plus or Project M working, because it's really fun. So please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.